I'm going to talk to you today about dominant chords all over the fretboard. Hey, that rhymes. Mostly blues kind of stuff. I mean, it comes in handy for every style of music, I guess. But most likely you use this in blues. So right now I'm working with the key of A. What I'm going to do is show you five different ways to play a dominant chord. And you can mix and match those ways to play those chords to kind of spice up your harmonic content of your blues progressions and other stuff. Okay, so first one, let's just go with a good old A7. So we got kind of like an A chord, but we could go by taking up our ring finger on the G string, or we can just add this finger right here. So we got from the A string, we got open, second fret, second fret, second fret, and third fret. Okay. By the way, a dominant chord is made up of a 1, 3, 5, and flatted 7. That comes from the major scale. You go 1, 2, 3. So we got A in our chord. We've also got a C sharp. We're fine right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. E is our 5. There's an E right there in that chord. So there's A. There's our E. There's our C sharp. Now we need the flatted 7. So there's the uh, major 7. There's the flat at seven, which is a G note. Kind of gives gives the blues its flavor. A little bit. The note we have is just another A. So there's the first way to play it. That would be technically like a pattern three. Right there with the bass note. Here's pattern four. It's like a good old bar chord, the regular A major bar chord. You got fifths, fifth fret, seventh fret, seventh fret, sixth fret, fifth, fifth. To make it a dominant chord, we just get rid of the pinky finger. So we have five, uh, seven, five, six, five, five. The way that I do it a lot is I grab the root with my thumb, and then I'll just usually hammer on. So I got all fifth fret, kind of a minor chord, but then I add on the major third right there. Now our uh, right there is our seven, our flat seven, the G note. Uh, next one, we can go right here for an A chord. We find our root note here, seventh fret of the D string. We got sixth fret on the G string. There's our flat at seven on the eighth fret there. Okay. Now here's another way you can just go right up. There's an A right there. You can form the chord like that, or you can think of that A that's right there. Now the reason why I'm showing you this based around the root note or close to the root note is because you're not always going to play in the key of A. So it's better to know where your root note is and how to find the chord around there. For instance, if you're in the key of F doing some F blues, then you want to know, okay, well, there's, there's my F right there, or hey, there's an F. Um, there would be your dominant chord right there. So anyway, back to the A. We have that one, ninth fret, eighth fret, ninth fret. Then we have this one right here, which there's our flatted seventh root note. There's our fifth, twelfth fret, tenth fret, twelfth fret. Another way to do that one, the bottom part of that chord, we've got twelfth fret, eleventh fret, twelfth fret, tenth fret, which would be known as uh, I guess a pattern one chord if we went to MI. Then we got pattern two. <coughs> Okay, so we got 12th fret, 14th, 12th, 14th. Um, another interpretation of that would just be down an octave here, which I showed you earlier, but O2, O2. There's your root note opening the string right there. Now let's go with D. Here's D7, open D7. So we got open string, second fret, first fret. Second fret. Now we can go up here. 
fifth fret, third fret, fifth fret. You can also throw a root, root note down there. If you want. You play the bottom part of the chord like this, five, four, five, three. Grab pattern one right here, five, seven, five, seven, and then fifth. Here's another one, which I didn't show you with the A's. Oh yeah, I jumped in there. Uh, there's seven, 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 eight. There's our D root. Probably won't play it like this. Probably just use that much of it. You can also do this one right here. Eighth fret, tenth fret, eleventh fret. There's the D, see? Next one, pattern four, 10, 12, 10, 11, 10, 10. A root note being right there, also right there. And right here is the, the big old, uh, you know, blues box or pentatonic box where a lot of people start soloing from. Then we got this right here, 12th fret, 11th fret, 13th fret. That's our root right there also right there so the reason why I'm showing you again uh, from close to the root notes is because you might be in a solo as well you might know where all your root notes are but maybe not necessarily what to play after that and it's good to know some chords um, and you can play chord shapes as your solos along with your licks, you know, and that's about all I can reach there for the D's. E's, again, this will be sort of a review. We got 2nd fret, 1st fret, 3rd fret, here's our root note, this E right here. Now we go up here, play this next one, we got E uh, on the 2nd fret, then we got 4th fret, 3rd fret, 4th fret, we got the pattern 1 here, so 7, 6, 7, 5, and then since it's E, for that open E, here's the pattern 2, so we got E, 7th uh, fret, 9th fret, 7th fret, 9th fret, 7th fret. Um, here's the next one up, 9, 9, 9, 10, give me this one again, 13, 12, 10. And pattern four, which I'd probably just do that or form this little shape 12, 13, 12. This one also is kind of cool, you can do like little diminished runs. Right. So now I've shown you all the dominant chords well, not all of them, but you know, a good amount of ways to play dominant chords with A, D, and E. So that'll kind of help you spice things up and find them in other keys in every other key. It's good practice. What I would suggest is going up, starting, you know, pick a key, for instance, E, and just go two, three, four, two, three, four, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, then go to A. Uh, then you go to B. Now this is a B9 technically, so you got 2nd fret, 1st fret, 2nd fret, 2nd, 2nd. Right. Then you got that B. 2, 4, 2, 4, 2. So there's a lot of different ways to play those chords. So watch this video again and again and again and recommend it to your friends. And then uh, tell everyone to subscribe and we'll take over the world with cool music.